Welcome once more to my YouTube channel and today we'll be talking about mental health. Something very serious and not to be taken lightly, I would say. And I just want to encourage persons to work on themselves, find you, look within, do what you have to do for you and never be afraid. And sometimes these disappointments and hurts it's an eye opener and a red flag when somebody is hurting you all the time and you know it's intentional time to fucking pack up and leave so let's just get into it um there was this um quote that i posted on my social media and I have a friend who knows or have let's just say they, they got an idea what's what's happening in my mental space an idea not everything but they got an idea so when i posted the the code there was like i want to hear more about this not the code but i want to hear what you have to say in front of the camera post a video talk and i agreed and i said you know what you're onto something because Ever since I started this YouTube channel, my greatest challenge is not to disappoint and to come and talk to you guys and to have a frank conversation, to be open with you guys and to keep things going. I mean, aside from work that had me busy a few weeks ago, that's why I wasn't uh, more or less working on things to post so that you guys can enjoy. But today's conversation, I think, is needed because mental health is something we all have to experience and protect. We go through stuff mentally and we don't tell anybody. We always keep things bottled up. So the quote was, was saying, when someone is not meant for you, the universe will trigger them to mess up, like hurt you or disappoint you until you get the message to release. Some people, they phone in walking because the message don't be received. And I'm guilty of it. I am fucking guilty of it. I'm not gonna lie. So I'm not gonna judge anyone else who in a situation where they're being hurt all the time and they're not letting go, um, they will know when it's time to let go because I feel as if um, everybody this guy got through the only pain, even though you might have the experience that you might talk to someone and say hey i don't think you should do this sometimes people need to experience things before they value it it's just as if someone gave you uh let's just say something some material thing and you cherish it based on how you value it so if it was given to you without anything attached to it you're not gonna value it and you're not gonna feel any type of way of losing it so it's like the same thing applies to this quote, I would say, because people come in our lives for different reasons and seasons. You know that that saying, yes, people come in your life for a reason and a season. So some person might come in your life for five minutes, some people five years, five decades, and the list goes on. You just have to know when it's time for that person to be stepping. And... Um, my mental health or space i would say within the last five to six years i've been working on it so this is me trying to tell you this ain't a quick fix dealing with you is never a quick fix it's a lifetime if i can say so we're we're not perfect people no one of us no one is perfect let's just start there so even me telling you work on yourself be be a better you it's a work in progress you can't say oh well today i fixed me and i'm ready to take on the world no bitch it doesn't work like that you have to calm yourself down internalize a lot find inner self and see what works for you and this quote speaks to one of the process that you will have to go through you have to lose people in order to find you in order to better you in order to make you understand you you have to lose people people are not gonna always be there you know you have to find the balance and finding that balance is how i would put it as long as my energy is off around you i don't want to be around you if my energy is good 
and I'm calm, then you're my people. If it's off, little motherfucker, ain't nobody got time for that. Because you need to do that and you need to protect yourself. Um, I've been hurt. I've been disappointed. And guess what? I hurt too and I disappoint too. So even though you're still going through life and you're telling yourself you need to work on yourself and you need to be better, they're going to have days you're going to fuck up and you're going to hurt people close to you. And that's okay. But you have to take responsibility when you do that. You just can't be, you know, like dismissive, blame game. You know, we are all, we're all guilty of those bullshit. So don't roll up your eyes at me when you see me talking this thing because you know it's true. You know it's true. Most times we blame and we try to act like the victim when we know very well we're not the victim here. Uh, unless you know your case is genuinely where you're the victim and you're being taken advantage of and that's where you reassess things and you let go. Don't be afraid to fucking let go of people. Sometimes you might be holding on to somebody telling yourself, oh God, I cherish this, this friendship or this relationship for so long. I don't know what I can do without this, this um, relationship now. Come on. The same way you've been surviving before, you will survive after. And guess what? Who knows? Maybe you might get that perfect person coming into your life to fit that void that you created. You hear? Nobody else created it. You created it. So stop leaning and depending on people in ways that you don't. Find yourself. Look within. Work on you. The time you're, you're studying other people, work on you. I would say this pandemic was a blessing for me finding self. Because... There's a lot that was going on with me mentally. I'm not saying I'm crazy. And we need to stop thinking that when we're talking about mental health, it's only for mad people. That shit irritates me. It is not only for people who need to be diagnosed and be in a hospital or be on drugs. People need to stop that shit and stop putting that negative connotation to mental health. Because mental health is a part of you, whether you like it or not. The day you're born and you start speaking, thinking, and moving, your mental health start kicking in. Because if you're sad, you're going to act a certain way. If you're happy, you're going to act a certain way. And those are emotions you have to control and you have to balance. Because sometimes some emotions overlap and it, the, the, the scale will tip. So let's not tip our scale. Let's try to go through life balancing stuff. And in doing that balance, you have to understand that. People will tip it for you. So you have to know when to allow people in and when to let them out. Because not everyone is meant to stay in your life forever. Never be afraid to let people go. And letting people go does not mean you turn enemies, you're bitter. Because carrying around that kind of hurt and that pain is not good. It can tell on you eventually because we tell ourselves that this pain that we feel inside or this hurt. That's why I try to tell people never say you hate someone. You dislike what they're doing. You're upset at what they did to you. But never force yourself to hate people. Because hate is such a strong word and it's such a strong emotion. It can tell on you over time. It can tell on you and it affects your health. Not just your mental health, but your physical health. So love yourself. And try to be light. Try to be free. Don't be afraid to speak out. If someone makes you feel uncomfortable, say it. If you don't like what somebody is doing and it's affecting you, you tell them. It's two things could happen. They either apologize and change or they fucking get annoyed and stop talking to you. And guess what? When they stop talking to you, what's going to happen? Hmm? What going to happen? Oh my God, your life is going to stop. Oh my God, your, your zeros in your bank account going to go down. No, motherfucker. Let them go. Because if people are comfortable hurting you and disappointing you and, and show no remorse, then they'll never fucking like you. So wake the fuck up and just do you. Look at people. I'm not saying everyone around you is bad because they're genuinely some good people we would tend to have around us. But not everyone is meant to be around us. And never be alone. 
in a sense that you tell yourself you gotta isolate from people and stay away from people no that's not going to help your mental health too it is okay to be by yourself and to regroup and come again and interact with people i'm saying all of this to say i agree with this post or this statement or this meme whatever you want to call it because it it resonates with me because that's something i've been working on Let me just ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't, to like, share, and comment. Comment what you think about this topic.